Okay, hi. Um, I just want to make this short video about images to use. Um, someone asked me the other day how I do um, these types of graphics and that that I use on the blog. Um, that sort of thing. It's really quite quite straightforward. I've started doing them quite a bit now. I just sort of try and keep a little theme going with them. Um, you know these sort of things. Okay, so I've just made this video. Um, basically, if you go into Google or go into your search bar, uh, you want to go to openclipart.org. One of my favourite sites for this sort of thing. Those of you that bought my infographic product, you'll know about this. Okay, um, and then in here, there's tons of images and diagrams and little pictures and things you can use and I literally just so let's um, let's do one um, okay um, I don't know image okay so if we say pick something that we can use um, I don't know maybe not Drawing, sorry, got loads here. Look. And all I will do is, there you go. Let's look at that one there. Painting and drawing. So all I would do is, if you click on PNG, and there it is, and then just right click. We're going to copy it, open up PowerPoint paste it in and then so there's that and then literally I'm just going to insert a text box now to make funky images for your blog posts Right, and then uh, we'll just mess around with the font or something, change it. Got all these. Again, those of you that got hold of my infographic package will know about all these fonts that you get with it. There you go, that'll do. A little embossed one looks quite neat. Um, something like that. If you go into format, you can add all sorts of shadows. You can put little frames around it. You know, there's loads you can do with this. I know. I mean, I try and really keep this simple. It's really like PowerPoint for doing these sort of things. Okay, and there you go. That's it. Easy. And then just to make it as one image you want to just select the whole thing you've got them both group so now it's one image and then we're gonna save as picture so we'll save as picture we'll call it pick test I'll just save it on my desktop and then we'll have a look, there it is. And there you go. And that's the image you can use on your blog in the posts, as we talked about. You know, you can drop that in drop that in for any of these. Drop that in for your posts. Okay? There you go. Thank you.